Hello friends, myself Subhutam Mukherjee and you are watching my channel Dr. Subhutam Mukherjee Distance Learning in Commerce. Today I am going to discuss another problem on joint venture. This is lecture number 2 and you can see the other lecture in the playlist section of the channel. I would like to request all my viewers to subscribe my channel and to circulate this channel among the student of commerce so that they can be benefited to the lectures that I have uploaded in this channel. Before you start, please note the question with solution in your notebook and feel free to communicate with me through email in the whatsapp number given in the description box rain and sour are iron and steel merchants each carry on his own business from time to time however they enter into joint transactions and share profits and losses equally passing those entries for which they are responsible through their own books of account and rendering each other statements of business done. The following transactions took place during 2021. January, Rain bought for scrap for Rs 24,800 and paid Rs 600 for storage. February, Sauer sold part of this scrap for Rs 28,400 and Rain disposed of the rest for Rs 3,000. March, Sauer bought steel for Rs 67,600 and paid Rs 1,200 for storing and delivery. Ren sold half of this steel for Rs 105,000 paying commission and advertising amounting Rs 1,300. The remainder which was unsold was taken into Sauer's own stock at a value of Rs 37,180. It was agreed that Rain and Sauer should be allowed Rs 4,800 and Rs 3,200 respectively for general expenses of the venture. Prepare a statement showing the result of all these transactions and show the entries in each party's books. Here we are supposed to prepare the ledgers in the book of Rain. So I am writing here in the books of rain joint venture with sour account so on debit side i am writing particulars rupees and on the credit side also particulars and rupees so the first transaction which is given that in the month of january rain bought for scrap rupees 24800 and paid 600 for storage so the general entry is joint venture with sour account debit to bank account so the expenses and the sell proceeds made by rain will be debited or credited to bank and the expenses incurred and the sales made by Sawa will be debited or credited to Sawa account. So the first transaction regarding the scrap purchased and the storage expenses paid by Rain, I have to record it on the debit side as to bank account. And for understanding, I have to write here scrap purchase 24,800 and the for storage the expense incurred was for rupees 600 so total 25400 the next transaction uh, took place in february and sour sold part of this scrap for 28400 so i have to record it here on the credit side as by sour account and he made a sale for rupees 20,400 and rain also made a sale a part of which for rupees 3000 so so i have to record this figure on the credit side of joint venture account as by bank the general entry is bank account debit to joint venture with sour account and the sales which was made by sour sour i have to record a sour account debit to joint venture with sour account so i have to open a sour account also so the first ledger that I have made 
is the joint venture with Sauer account and here I am preparing the Sauer account that is the personal account of the co-venture. This is the personal account of co-venture. So in the, I am preparing this two ledger in the books of Rain. So the sale that was made by Sawa, I have to write it here to joint venture account. And the amount is for 28,400. Now in the month of March, Sawa bought a steel for rupees 67,600 and paid 1,200 for storing and delivery. So on the debit side, I have to record to Sawa account purchase of steel for rupees 67,600 and storing and delivery expenses amounted to rupees 1,200. So total amount paid by Sawa was for rupees 68,800. Now I have to record this in the Sawa account also in the personal account as by joint venture account. 68,800. Now, Rain sold part of this uh, steel for rupees 1,5,000. So, on the credit side, I have to record as buy bank account sale 1,5,000. This is also the sale proceed made by Rain. And Paying commission and advertising amounting to rupees 1300. So, Rain paid for advertising. So, to bank account, I am writing 1300, and this amount was incurred for commission and advertisement. And uh, the remainder which was unsold, so part of the steel which was uh, which remained unsold was taken away by Sawa for rupees 80, 37,180. So I am writing here by Sawa account 37,180. So in the Sawa account, that is the personal account of co-venture, I have to record to joint venture account. 37,180. So this way I have recorded the transactions that took place in the month of January, February and March. Now it was agreed that Rain and Sour should be allowed rupees 4,800 and 3,200 respectively for general expenses of the venture. So in the joint venture account I have to record to bank that is the expense that was allowed to Rain. I have to uh, give credit to bank account for rupees 4,800 and the expense which was allowed to Sawa, I have to write joint venture account debit to Sawa 3,200. Now this amount of 3,200 will be recorded in the Sawa account also as by joint venture account 3,200. Now this way I have recorded all the transaction here in the joint venture account. You can see the these are the four items that has been recorded on the credit side and these are the five items that I have recorded on the debit side. Now what is the profit I have to calculate and this will be distributed and shared uh, between Brain and Sour in 1 is to 1. So the total of uh, credit side you can say 1,73,580. So I have to write it here 1,73,580. So the balancing figure is 70,080 and the profit that will be taken away by rain will be credited to PL account as half of 70,080. So 35,000 40 rupees will be the profit of rain and the profit of Sawa is also same that is half of 70,080 that is 
35,040. So you can see that this is the complete uh, picture of the joint venture account. Now the profit which was uh, to be shared by Sava will be credited to his account here as by joint venture account 35,040. And the balancing figure in the Sauer account represents the amount which was due to Sauer. So this I have to write as two balance CD is 41,460. And total of debit and credit side is 1,7,040. So amount due from rain is for rupees 41,460. So these are the two ledgers that I have prepared in the books of RIN. That is the joint venture with Sauer account and the personal account of Sauer. Hope all the students have recorded the questions with solution in your notebook. And if you find any difficulty in understanding, feel free to communicate with me through email and the WhatsApp number given in the description box. Thank you. Thanks for watching the lecture. 